That's a weird slash cool touch. Slash weird again. Hold on a second. Ooh, wow. Awesome! Screaming makes me thirsty! That's Chinese for Zhang Zhang. Excuse me. Oh, the credits! Devastator wants me to set him free. I'll be right back. What up, all my fellow fanatics? I'm Rave9, and I'm welcoming you to the Thug Life. This is Dark Side Megatron and Dark Side Optimus Prime. Straight from the Tokyo Toy Show in Japan, we got ourselves the Transformers United exclusive black repaints of Megatron and Optimus Prime. As the trend goes, Optimus Prime always gets a black repaint. And this time around, he's partnered up with his good friend Megatron, who also gets a black repaint for a double dose of batty goodness. And as you can tell for yourself, this is a mint in box. Hasn't been opened yet, but I'm going to open it for you guys right now. <laughs> and this, my friends, is why the Japanese are my overlords. Look at Optimus Prime. Look at that awesome paint job. He's sporting mint green, dark black, an awesome shade of gray that is not just regular gray on any old figure. Not only that, but he's sporting the Decepticon logo. We got ourselves an official Nemesis Prime. And then there's his buddy Megatron. Look at him. Did you think Galvatron was as badass as Megatron could get? <laughs> think again. Look at that. Metallic purple paint, beautiful black paint job, just an entirely new color scheme. These two dudes together rock your universe. Your dark side universe. To start this off, I really think we should talk about everyone's favorite Autobot leader turned Decepticon, Nemesis Prime. Make no mistake, the package says Optimus Prime, but when he's black and mint and sporting a Decepticon logo, we all know it to be Nemesis Prime. I could go on for quite a while, maybe even forever, about how awesome the paint job is on this guy compared to the War for Cybertron Optimus Prime. There's just tons of little things to pick out on. Taking a look at Nemesis' chest windows right here, you can clearly see the ruby red paint has this nice luster to it. It shines beautifully, kind of like Kit from Knight Rider. I'm afraid that's not possible, Michael. I've joined with the Decepticons. All hail Megatron! <laughs> If you take a look at Optimus, he has some paint on his windows, but it just doesn't pop like Nemesis does. I don't want to get too hung up on the paint scheme, but I think I've made my point. Every part of him is just simply amazingly detailed and awesome. Every color is perfectly chosen. This is an absolute gorgeous rendition of Nemesis Prime. One of the very last things I wouldn't consider that really helps sell this character as a must-buy for me, which really should come standard on all Transformers now, is the light piping. It is absolutely just blazing red, which just makes you feel like he's shooting the hate right into your soul. Or your spark. Oh, can you people feel the hate? Oh, man. I want to kick some ass right now. I'm so angry. Oh, look, he's blinking at you. Trying to give you epilepsy. But lest we forget the other half of the amazing package, we got Megatron in a beautiful black and metallic purple color scheme. Once again, just solely focusing on the paint jobs of these guys, Megatron is decked out in this black matte color. He actually looks a little coarser than the War for Cybertron counterpart. Not only that, but the metallic purple paint helps give him this evil nobility look to him compared to the red on this guy, which is just this brownish dirty red, which gives him that worn look, like he's been in battle too much. And then there's the light piping, which is also made of the ruby red transparent colors. Megatron has purple, but it just doesn't have the same effect as this blazing, hateful red. Odds are you're not seeing it on camera, but this dude definitely is a little more coarse in your hands. You can see it. He does not reflect light. He absorbs it. This actually reminds me of the Megatron from the 80s that made to represent the man from Uncle Gun. You guys remember that? What? You don't? Here's a picture. So that's really it for these guys. What makes them exclusive is the new paint job. So technically, we do have two new characters here. This is War for Cybertron Nemesis Prime, and this is War for Cybertron the Man from UNCLE. Now let's take it one step beyond and look at their vehicle modes, which, by the way, are gorgeous. First up, we're looking at Nemesis Prime in its overall black mode with mint highlights. And even more menacing are those red eyes. Now he really looks like Knight Rider. Death to all humans. 
Now, of course, just being a repaint, there are no surprises. He's the exact same thing as War for Cybertron Optimus Prime. Nothing new, nothing added. It's just that this guy manages to win us over with his more awesome paint scheme. And next, when we're looking at Megatron, oh my god, but wow! Once again, no surprises. Just the more gorgeous paint detail than this guy. Even parts on Megatron here, which are straight black, manage to look better on this Megatron as a darker gray. So once again, vehicle modes are no exception. They're just absolutely gorgeous and menacing. These dudes would absolutely kill in the Transformers universe. In fact, they wouldn't even fit in the Transformers universe. You couldn't even play the Transformers theme song to these guys. You would need a brand new song entirely for the arrival of these guys. Something badass. Something... Metal. Yeah. I got just the song for these guys. Oh yeah! Um, something metal for these guys! My little pony, my little pony. Something metal for these guys. You know, with all the positives I mentioned, though, there's just something wrong with this set. And it's nothing to do with the quality of the toys, because that's just simply amazing. But it has everything to do with the fear I'm feeling. These guys, they're too evil. They're both Decepticons. It's a paradox. One's Optimus Prime, and, and one's Megatron. But they're both evil. Oh my god. So much evil. I feel it. I feel it. S spreading outward. They got you paranoid. Chasing shadows. Looking over your shoulder. Looking for a boogeyman who doesn't exist. Afraid of your own house. That they might be there. Some waffles and Slurpees? <laughs> yeah, let's go. All right.